What is up with me being the only person in this hallway? Boom, I sold 650,000 in used books on Amazon in 2015. You see that? That's fucking hustle. Reezy resells. Follow the hustle. What's up guys? I'm in the airport in San Jose, about to jump on a plane to LA. I'm super excited for the conference this weekend. Got me a acai bowl. I'm actually flying first class on Alaska, and this is the first time I've ever flown first class, so it was just super cheap. So I figured why not? And I'll show you guys what it's like to fly first class, even though it's only like an hour and a half flight max. I feel like it's not gonna do justice to the first class experience. Apparently when you fly first class, you get to go into the first class lounge, which has like snacks and food and a bar. Unfortunately, there is no lounge here in San Jose, but there is one in LA, so I'll get to show you guys that. Other than that, we're just waiting to get on the plane. This is a super small plane, so there's only two seats on one side and one seat on this side. And I'm on this side, so I don't have anyone sitting next to me, which is pretty cool. Complimentary water bottle before takeoff, and also appetizer coming, complimentary as well, and complimentary drinks. So your boy got a Jack and Coke. Waiting for that to come. Check out the leg room. Lots of leg room. Pay no attention to my pasty white legs. Also, I got to board first, which was pretty cool. That's awesome. Unfortunately, there wasn't an Alaskan lounge at San Jose, but there is at LAX. So when I get to LAX, I'm gonna go into the Alaska lounge. in LAX. I have to say this whole first on, first off thing, beautiful. Love that. Now it's time to find the lounge. First class lounge. Can't wait to check this out. Got you your fruit, your soda. Over here they got some salad, and some cheese, cookies, pretzels, coffee. Uh, fancy like Starbucks automated machine. You get a latte, Americano, mocha, cappuccino, steam milk, hot chocolate. I'll probably hit that up. And then there's a pancake machine. Press OK for two pancakes. Sweet. And then over here we got a bar. And I've been told there is some alcoholic beverages complimentary. You can see there's lots of seating available. And it goes all the way back there around the corner. Got a salad here with some cheese cubes and some meatball tortellini. So, the Alaska First Class Lounge, dope. Free complimentary drinks, alcoholic included, snacks, food. So if you have Chase Sapphire Reserve, I think you can go in there whenever you want. And obviously if you fly first class, you can go in there too. But super dope, chill, Wi-Fi, snacks, food, drinks. It's the way to be comfortable. Side note, what is up with me being the only person in this hallway? This is pretty crazy. <laughs> So, just got dropped off by the Uber, and I'm about to cruise into the Airbnb right now. Did I tell you guys, this place is bad. This place is super nice. 664. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. All right. What's up, brother? Good to see you. <laughs> What's going on, man? What is up, guys? What up? Crazy resale, man. <laughs> 
How's it going there, man? Good. All right, guys, I told you this Airbnb was fat. I wasn't lying, check it out. There's, there's the boys. Living room, TV that we most likely won't even turn on. Scan all the books? Yeah, we're gonna scan these books. <laughs> Kitchen. What Two bedrooms. Bedroom number one, more books. Bedroom number two, more books. Yes, they figured their guests were gonna be readers, so they just packed a bunch of books in there. So this is the patio. The patio is chilling. Look how big the patio is. Little hot tub, little art, more art, chairs. Look at this it's a classic art piece right here. So hopefully later in the video you'll see footage of people here hanging out, having a good time, socializing. Look how dope this outside area is. It's super dope. So this is gonna be my room for two days. Got me a blue bed, got me a desk. That's all I need. Hey, what <laughs> up? He's looking for hard Man, how are you? What's up, dude? You didn't die, what up? <laughs> How's the flight? Good, good. good. Yeah, awesome. definitely. Breezy. You got my man? Nice. You don't have to have a cool username, but it helps if people can tell what you do with your username. Because, like, let's say they want to search for, like, lifestyle accounts, you know? I think your account will come up because it, you have lifestyle in your title, but if it was in the name, it, it will come up even more. When I first started my Instagram, what I did was I, I followed everybody in my niche. Like everybody that had the word reselling or thrifting or eBay or Amazon. Like I searched specifically by username for people and use certain words and when I found them, then I followed them and then eventually either they followed me back or however that happened. I know a few people that do the, the uh, workout equipment because what happens is like gyms go out of business and then they have all this equipment they can't get rid of and so that you, you get it for hella cheap. And then, um, and then also, yeah, online people are scared to sell that type of stuff because it's too big or it weighs too much so they don't know how to palletize stuff. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna use like six hashtags. Don't use more than six hashtags on a post and put them in, in the caption. So you don't wanna put them in the comment anymore. So like whatever it is, um, and you wanna use different ones as often as possible. And it's only six, so it's not like it takes, you know, you could just write them out, you know what I mean? But you wanna, you wanna use hashtags that are gonna attract people that are interested in your content but you also don't want to use ones that are really saturated. So like for me, for example, I want to use the hashtag Amazon FBA, but that hashtag is really saturated. So I actually use hashtags like secure the bag or don't play yourself. And then I, what happens is I get like 20 year olds or 25 year olds that are like interested in making money, but they don't really know about Amazon. So they're like, what's this all about, you know? Um, I, don't, I don't directly sell on Instagram to my followers. I sell like you can buy my merch, you know, or I drive people I drive people to my YouTube videos which I have cuz I don't actually have any information courses to sell, but I do in my YouTube videos I have like affiliate links for different products that I recommend people to use to sell software and and um, like physical things. And then also on on my I mean I definitely make money off of Instagram through my link tree because I have stuff in there that people click on that costs money, right? And then I make money off of that. Um, people started asking me for shout outs and shit, like people wanna pay me like 20 or 50 bucks to do a shout out. I'm not really into that, but what, what really helps me with Instagram is that um, I don't really have a big YouTube account. I have 28 or 29,000 subscribers, but um, my Instagram is big like for Instagram, it's not like, superstar status but like for example there's people who have a million subscribers on YouTube but have smaller Instagram accounts than I do so when when I want to reach out to people I use my Instagram account because it's it gives me more clout I guess it's more likely it's more likely for me to get someone's attention you know because if they have a million subs on YouTube and I have 30,000 they're not even gonna answer my email you know what I mean but when I hit them up on Instagram and then they look and they're like, holy shit, he has 35,000, I only have 18,000. Then they think I'm important, and then they actually talk to me.
The man, the brain behind <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you here? Are you here? The upload's broken. Fix it right away. <laughs>